you were a unique kind of DJ, right? Where you used, you were, you were like weaving stories into the songs. Is that, is that correct? So, so we were a bunch of 20 year old guys locked in a room where there was still LPs with 45 room yeah. Yeah. And, and tracks. And we have a cabin and we operate ourselves and we were selecting handpick every album and with the microphone open and saying stupid things. And what really people listened to was what happened between song and song, which was incredible amount of production that Martin and I wrote it and Martin produced it in audio and were political comments, jokes, uh, production. And we interview every rock star in the world. And I have the luck to interview all my heroes from Robert Plant to David Gilmore. To, so, so I was traveling. And, and so it was a beautiful five year period in my life where I, I had to go three hours a day to in a way uh, put music and talk about things that I felt that it was an incredible exercise of narrative, you know, just to have an audience and, you know, again, frequencies. Who was the, the, the one you were most intimidated to interview, the rock star? It was David Gilmore from Pink Floyd because I was such a fan that uh, I remember I was very young and I was in an existential crisis and he was very serious. And I, I put a question that I was so, I want, like if he was God, so I was like almost in a very long question that was very convoluted and ambitious and pretentious. And, and I asked him like, almost like what life is about. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looked at me and I was super terrified because he was like this. And then he said, he, he put, put his hand in the shoulder, said, take it easy, take it easy, kid. take it easy. <laughs> I, 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 sorry, I was almost about <laughs> to cry, but I want him to answer me what life was about. But he was very intimidating, uh, but very nice at the, at the end, you know. Very I can really, I can, re I, yeah, talking to you right now and asking about truth, I was like, oh God, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, I keep looking at me with mercy. Like, I was so convoluted. I was so intellectually convoluted that he was trying to say, you know, just let you feel, you know, that's the truth. So, I mean, it's feeling about. Life is about feeling, it's not about intellect. The fucking brain is always lying to us. It's evanescent, but feeling is, is much more in tune with present time, with, with what really is happening. 